the Survivor Series just ended. And the night was average. Okay, but the ending was incredible. You see, Team of Forta is no longer in power ta. Mainly because of a man they call Sting. Yes, Sting. That Sting. The WCW legend. The black and white. The crow. The baseball bat. That Sting. Made his WWE debut after over 20 years. And he made an impact, all right, costing the authority their power and bringing victory to Team Cena with the sole survivor being Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler showing his usual resilience in another breakout moment for the young man winning the victory and thus outing Triple H and Stephanie for good. And Stephanie took it much harder than the game did. But, then again, it could be the game still suffering the effects from the scorpion death drop that he got at the hands of the big stinger. But, that was the end of the night. Despite Big Show going Benedict Arnold and turning on Team Cena to try to protect his job. But, that was the end of the night. The beginning of the night saw the return of a much more believable Fawn Dongo. Gone is the goofy music and goofy concept. And here comes a serious ballroom dancer gimmick using Rosa as the romantic Setup. He's like the Vega of the WWE now. And he did look impressive as he should against a jobber like Justin Gabriel, pulling off a rather impressive leg drop to get his dark match, pseudo dark match victory. And we also saw the return and proclamation of one bad news Barrett saying that. He will soon take over. But when Survivor Series began, it began with the Fatal 4-Way for the tag titles. Every team got involved, every team had its moments, but ultimately it was the Miz and Damian Mizdow getting the W and becoming your new tag team champions much to the fans' like of Miz now and dislike of The Miz. And then the Divas rest. Uh, it was a traditional Survivor Series 4-on-4 four four with a clean sweep, Cameron getting the pin. Ho-hum, next match! Because the next match was actually interesting. Bray Wyatt against Dean Ambrose. And it was even down the line with even even the two stealing their own gimmicks and taking stabs at each other with Bray Wyatt taking the ultimate stab and causing Dean Ambrose to snap. Thus, Bray Wyatt wins by disqualification. But that's not the point. The point is, however, that... Mr. Ambrose lost his nuts and started to assault Bray, Bray Wyatt with chairs, <laughs> in fact, several dozens, putting him through a table with an elbow drop, and then burying him under more tables while standing on top of a ladder. Symbolic symbolism, because now at WWE Tender Loving Care, also known as Tables, Lighters, and Chairs, the two will duke it out in a TLC match. Good. Very good. 
But after that, the de the Divas ruin the vibe again, with Nikki Bella getting a seven second very Daniel Bryan against Sheamus like conclusion. Nikki Bella winning the Divas Championship and a happy Brie Bella. Hmm. But that's all I'm going to say about that. Then Adam Rose and the Bunny took on a tag team that I didn't even know was even formed called Slater Gator with the Exotic Express winning the day in an in-between match that made the Bunny look good again. What is it about that Bunny exactly? And then we get to the aforementioned main event of the evening. Now, this is just my opinion, but a Survivor Series without a world title match is kind of an empty Survivor Series. And it really shows, because the card was not strong, sans Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose, and the main event actually delivering, if it wasn't for Sting, the match would have turned out to be relatively average with Big Show getting a quick first elimination, Rusev actually falling, splatting himself on a table to get himself eliminated, among other of 40 shenanigans. Lady? And, of course, the aforementioned ending. But it looks like Dolph Ziggler is officially out of the doghouse. I expect this to be a relatively big push for Big Z coming off the victory. And even Luke Harper and Eric Rowan look good in their small spot together. Hopefully, next time we see them together, they'll actually be able to wrestle each other. And, also, Vince McMahon reiterated at the beginning of the show the out-of-power rules. That's why you're never going to see Triple H and Stephanie again, because the only person that can bring them back, ironically, is now... John Cena. We'll see where this goes. But that is your Survivor Series recap. Sub for more stuff here on Code Equestrian and more fun. And big announcement here a wrestling show, a serious one, is coming. Me and the boys are working on it. We'll have details about that. Very soon, leave your comments down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the free Survivor Series 6 out of 10.